Good morning! Morning! So today we are going to take you on one of the mysteries of the whole planet. Well, especially the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Stonehenge. So literally, it is now quarter past six. We are running a little bit behind schedule. F1 is itching to go, but we can't yep. forget the corona mask. <laughs> the Covid mask. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just moody morning, that's all. Moody hey. morning. Moody morning. So what I was saying before was thinking about Stonehenge and these people living in a time where there was pretty much no technology, nothing, right? How do people that don't have anything think of these things? So we we're just listening to something saying that Stonehenge was built in a time where metal tools didn't arrive to Britain. But who thought of these metal tools and who thought that iron is mixed in with all this sand in the mountains and if I burn it you're gonna get metal for and then I can shape that into something hard and make that into tools. Like who thinks of these things? Oh girl, we've arrived, ready to see some wonders. <laughs> it's not a wonder of the world, but you know, it's a mystical of the world. It's freezing cold. We made it. <laughs> so, we've got the shuttle bus, which has been dropped off literally over there. Yeah. And we're making our way to the Stonehenge area. Typical green English countryside, which is just always nice to be fresh out and about early in the morning. Just breathe it in. I know I'm a bit moody sometimes in the morning <laughs> when I wake up, but when I finally wake up, quite chirpy. can't believe it what you see right behind us we are at Stonehenge so 80 stones were originally here but about 40 to 43 remain about 40 yeah about 40, 40 remain 40 remain so, so that's what makes up Stonehenge now basically yeah Ta-da! and they weren't just built by one set of people I think they were built over about 1500 years by various different people 1500 years and what's crazy is that they didn't have wheels back then so how did they carry like oh, yeah or how, or how do they move these big massive stones from you know over 200 miles from where they apparently have come from and the smaller stones weighing four tons they were, they were believed to be transported over 200 miles without any wheels like that's crazy people believe that Stonehenge is some kind of vortex which spews out energy from the earth do you feel magical being here right now? There's some kind of energy here. <laughs> <laughs> so in the original structure, there would have been a mixture of stones. So you would have seen something like an ugly stone and then kind of a nice smooth stone followed by you know, some of the rough looking stones and the smooth stone. So you kind of see that placement around, around Stonehenge. And that's it. Time to leave. That's it. 
that was an experience to say the least beautiful it was amazing i wish i had a bit more time we got there a bit late yeah you just got get 45 minutes instead of an hour yeah you you do only get one hour because there's another group <sighs> after you coming in for the nine o'clock tour and so <laughs> so yeah get there on time our hands are freezing hands are frozen mine are in the pocket i'm not taking them out so yeah. yeah overall I, I, I really enjoyed it Yeah. Hands are frozen, and this is the mask life. And there you go. When you arrive, this is what it looks like. The building, and then you get your shuttle bus from up that way. So, guys, we did it. What do you think of it? It was absolutely pretty amazing, actually. Like to be actually standing there, where where people of fifteen hundred years took to build that stone. Like it's pretty crazy because you probably see why the sun rises from that side, isn't it? Mm. And it's pretty thick when the sun's rising. But it's quite beautiful, isn't it? Just knowing that it was like literally five thousand years, 5, old. years ago. Five thousand years ago. What a mystery. What do you think? Feel nice. <laughs> <laughs> so the ancient Egyptians also moved large blocks of stone to set up carved obsolete weighing over four hundred tons. Yeah. Basically this method here, isn't it? Is that how the Egyptians would have done it? Yeah, this is how it was done, isn't it? Now we're making our way home, so that was a success. So you pay like £47 each, I think it was. Yeah. And you get to go into the inner circle for one hour. And you've got a tour guide, which gives you a look at the It's very cold, so just make sure you wrap up. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>